Here is every hidden cassette tape location in Clockies. First of all, there are four hidden cassette tapes, and of the four, there are one every round, and they are in the same location every time. So the cassette tapes can be played in the cassette tape player that's located in the basement, and each cassette tape has a hidden recording from Dr. Kane's experiments. So for round one, where you collect the cluck buckets, you will want to head over to the food recycler within the main cafeteria area where you can drop off the cluck buckets. Jump up into the disposal to find the cassette tape, and here's what the hidden message says. The date of this log is January 12th, 1985. <laughs> I will now be commencing experiment 343 of sugar bomb candy trials. <laughs> Device is active. <laughs> yes, good boy. In this next phase, I will attempt isolating the synthetic bubble gum and berry flavors. Activating centrifuge. I have placed the samples into the device. Jolly, wait, wait! Jolly, Jolly! And if you are enjoying these hidden messages, subscribe to the GW channel for more killer Clucky's lore. Now on this first cassette tape, we see that Dr. Kane is completing one of his biochemical engineering experiments, trying to separate bubblegum and berry flavors. However, it appears that his dog, which is named Jolly, has interacted or interfered with the experiment. And I'm so curious to see what happens to Jolly. Let's find out. And here's where you can find the second cassette tape. Okay, so starting out in round two, where you're collecting the game tokens, go ahead and head all the way back to the Polar Prince's castle. Don't worry about collecting any of the game tokens for now. You need to have empty hands. So even if you do pick up a game token, go ahead and unequip it. And so once you get to the Polar Prince's castle, head to the back to the left where there's a little archway, and then there's going to be a torch on your left-hand side. Click that. It'll open up a little castle door, and what you're able to find is that cassette tape. Cool, guys. So now let's see what this says. Wow, I'm so glad I found this cassette because we have a lot to unwrap here. First of all, he uses the name Monica. And as we all now know, the pink demon is now known as Mama de Monica. This was indicated by the developer here in Discord. And I think there's been some other references as well. So the pink demon is Monica de Monica. Well, Dr. Kane's assistant is named Monica. So I don't think it's Maya anymore. I'm starting to think it's this mysterious monica character guys let me know what you think in the comments as well but also that was talked about here is that jolly the dog was barking at this vibrant viscous substance and uh this just ties into after the first tape where we find out dr kane had previously tried a sugar bomb candy trial where he looked to attempt to isolate the synthetic bubble gum and berry flavors and when he activated the centrifuge something went wrong as we remember this viscous substance, we end up feeding Jack as he was pushed off the castle. Richard had Dr. Kane feed Jack this viscous substance. I'm guessing this is what the secret recipe is to the almost chicken here, guys. That or this is what becomes of the Polar Princess slushies. Remember, they're talking about berry flavors being synthesized with candy. So the thing that reminds me the most of candy is a slushie. Now we do know where Night 3's cassette tape is. Head to the women's bathroom and rapidly click on the door. I didn't count how many times, but if I were to guess, it's about 50. Now the door opens and you will find in the bathroom the cassette tape for round three. Let's listen to what the tape has to say. I almost forgot that each of these tapes are labeled as Dr. Kane's lab log. Wow. Oh, 
today's date is June 5th, 1986. Commencing research experiment 182 on Jolly's ectoplasma. Hey, quick! Help us! What is it? What's happened? It's Jack. He... he... He fell. Please, you have to help him! No, I'll call an ambulance. No! We... we can't. Dr. Kane, we can use the ectoplasm. Absolutely not. I told you, the formula requires more research. We don't even know what could... It's not your decision to make. The formula belongs to me, so give it to him, now! Yes, Richard, the Mr. Beacon. Strap him down there. Hi, Hello, everybody, and collect the missing parts for the slushy machine. Wait, uh, are any of you even still alive out there? Hey, yes, hurry now, and careful. This is the last of it. There will be more. Ready, Doctor? As ready as I'll ever be. Well, that solves the mystery, folks. In the last video entitled The Dark Origin of Clucky, we saw Richard, a.k.a. Clucky, throw Jack Jackson off of the Polar Castle. I believe that this tape picks up right after that because we have Richard telling Dr. Kane that Jack fell. My question is, who is the lady's voice? Is that of the Pink Devil? I'd like to find out some more. All right, so this is the last tape, and it's pretty easy to find. On the fourth round with the keys, head upstairs to Punny Bunny's stage area. And once you're up there, uh, and once you're up the stairs, take a right to wrap around the wall, and there you will find a trash can. Enter that trash can to collect the tape. It's so simple. So let's see what that cassette tape has to say. Kane's log, March 15th, 1987. This will be my last log. Jack. Peter, even that construction worker, they, they've all turned. I can't hide away any longer. I have hidden the jollies in a safe place. I pray that we will have a time. Do not trust Richard, and do not trust... Whatever you do, do not, do not eat the food. Hello? Wow, so with this tape, we know that by 1987, Jack becomes Jackson Jackal, Peter the Polar Prince, and Franklin becomes Barney Beaverton. What we haven't heard is that Rudy has become Rufus at this point, so maybe that happens later in the story before that 1992 coin. I hope to find out soon, but also here is Kate trying to say not to trust Richard, and then someone else. Now, Richard is clucking at this point, so that must mean by 1987, Richard has become clucky. And one thing that also remains a mystery is who that other person was that we were not supposed to trust. It was cut off from the tape, and so my guess is it has to be none other than Mama DeMonica because she was not part of that tape recording. Wow, folks, this is crazy. What a tale of madness and horror. I hope that Dr. Kane and Jolly are all right. Well, this does it for us now. We'll catch you all in the next video. Later, dudes.